Hello and welcome back. This is Achol Rafi once again. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add countdown timer on a WordPress site using Elementor free plugin. You don't need to get the pro version. So here, if I take you to my plugins page from here, you can see I have got this Elementor free version installed on my WordPress site. And now if I take you to a page, let me open a new page. I'm going to type this out with the name CD1, let's say, and then I'm going to select the template to Elementor Canvas. Let's click on Publish, Publish. And if I click on Edit with Elementor here, it is going to show me the editing panel of Elementor. Now if I click on this plus icon to take a section, let's increase the size of this section so that you will see the changes so uh, properly. So here we go, we have got this section. Now if I click here and then if I type out here countdown, you can see, as you can see here, we have got this lock icon. So now we won't be able to use this widget until we make our Elementor version Pro. But don't worry, I'm going to show you the way how you can add countdown timer on your website without uh, availing this Pro version. So let me just cross this out and I'm going to leave this page. And now as we are on plugins page, let's click on add new plugin. And we are going to take um, essential add-ons for Elementor, the plugin which we need. Um, okay, so this one, essential add-ons for Elementor. If I click on install now, all right, so here we have got the plugin installed. Let's click on activate so that we'll be able to add, as you can see here, we have got Elementor and essential add-ons for Elementor. Now, if I take you to page, I'm going to create a new page instead of going to my other page section. So let me type out, let's say, uh, countdown timer two. And if I select this to template can, uh, Elementor canvas, let's click on publish, publish. And if I click on edit with Elementor, and now let's take a section from here. I'm going to increase the size of actually height to minimum height so that we'll be able to see the change. And now let's change the background color. It is going to give us some uh, good look for sure. So I'm, I've just changed it to black. Now let's click here. And if I type out here, let's say countdown, just take a look, we have got this countdown from essential add-ons along with two, um, two of these lock icons. But let me just drag and drop this one here. And here we go, we have got this um, uh, countdown timer added on our website for free. Now if you want, you can simply make the changes as you, uh, as you want. So let's say I want to give the date to 20th January, actually, yeah, three days, three hours, 43 minutes. You'll be able to make the changes from here. As you can see, uh, block in line if you want. Let's keep it to block and then the content settings. You can show the days or you can remove the days from here. You can, uh, let's say you can change the levels from as you can see it is written to hours. You can simply, let's say for minutes, I'm going to change minutes to M and S. Just, just as an example, okay, M and S. You can make the changes as you want and then you can change the position as you can see countdown separator we have got a display none so we are actually going to keep it active so that it will be appeared here and here we have got this um, separator as well and here position okay so we don't have to work on position separator color so we can keep it to white as you can see and then the typography if you want you can change the font size of the fonts and other information from here but I, I'm not going to um, work on this as of now just to show you how you can use or actually add this countdown timer on your WordPress site is my main um, motto of this video. All right so here as you can see we have got all the information which you can use to customize and if you are interested to get a dedicated video on this countdown timer um, modification video then please let me know by commenting below i would love to help you with a new tutorial so this was it for the video i believe you have found it helpful if you did please give this video a like share this video to help your friends and subscribe to my channel to get more helpful videos about elementor wordpress website and freelancing with elementor overall so i hope to see you in the next video thank you so much for watching